Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Pretty Soldiers Sailor Moon. And this was created by a company called Gazelle and licensed to Ban Presto in 1995. And this was suggested by YouTube user Nathan Williams. And this is, of course, based on the famous uh, Sailor Moon franchise. And uh, Sailor Moon began as a uh, manga in the early 90s, created by Naoko Takeuchi, and it later became a TV series, animated TV series, and uh, animated movies. But um, this is a very, very beautiful beat em up. The graphics are fantastic. This uh, incorporates uh, elements of the uh, uh, anime series, and uh, it uh, was a worldwide phenomenon. All of the Sailor Moon uh, franchise uh, entries. This uh, the the animated series I remember getting popular in the U.S. in about the somewhere in the mid '90s. And yeah, you can tell that the uh, graphics and uh, the animation are just beautiful they're just fantastic just like the anime series <laughs> and uh, the gist of this uh, say it all moon <laughs> the gist of the series it, or the franchise is uh, initially there are five uh, junior high school girls with special powers and they represent a planet or a celestial uh, orb and uh, the characters are the initial five are Sailor Moon she is also Usagi Tsukino and she's the one casting a a special attack she didn't get to finish it in the demo mode for some reason but the animation during the special attacks are really cool and to do a special attack you must collect crystals that you can get from defeated enemies and for some reason, they have a character contest. I guess the character that is... <laughs> the character that is played the most gets first place in a like popularity contest, and the one that is played the least is shown in fifth place. And uh, at least during the attract mode, they comment on their uh, standing... But they didn't do it uh, at the end of my game. But uh, the other characters, there's Sailor Moon, there's, and she's uh, Usagi Tsukino, and I'm gonna play as her first. There is also Sailor Jupiter, uh, who's also known as Makoto Kino, Sailor Mercury, Amy or Ami Mizuno, uh, Sailor Mars, Rei Hino, and Sailor Venus, Minako Aino. And we'll get started here. The girls do not have very long arms. And uh, a number of the enemies have longer reach and can and can hit them uh, very easily. But uh, this is a typical fodder enemy. This guy has a tennis racket and he, and he uh, shoots a, uh, an explosive shuttlecock at you. Or a, or a um, tennis ball. Those, uh, that guy with the long hair, the uh, kabuki type of guy, uh, he will later on have claws and he can attack you very quickly. It's very, very annoying. But just like in the uh, typical uh, beat em up games, you can come up close to the enemy and touch them and you can grab them. And then you can uh, do like a knee attack to them or something, or or throw them if you push the joystick in the opposite direction and press the attack button. Or you can throw them forward. But yeah, some of these enemies will be able to do a projectile attack at you, like that one, from far away. And uh, those those projectile attacks can hurt the uh, the other enemies, which is kind of nice. Just try not to get uh, surrounded. 
uh, during your battle with the enemies, some of them will sometimes drop things. Oftentimes they will be either crystals that are, that are uh, you know, one magic attack, or they might be a, a health item that can uh, restore a tiny bit of your health. And here are the first boss, and these guys can actually be kind of hard. Stay away from them when they're jumping about, because they'll try to uh, zap you with an electrical attack, and it will really hurt. Ah, crap. But they can also zap the other enemies. Jump away. Jump away quickly. There, I have one uh, magic crystal, and this is the weakest magic attack. Doesn't do much damage. But get away from them when they're trying to uh, jump at you and then do the uh, electrical attack. You can collect more than one crystal at once. <laughs> Thanks for doing that. You do not get a lot of time to uh, beat enemies. But that is my uh, first crystal attack. You can collect multiple crystals and then do a stronger attack. And we will see all the uh, crystal attacks for each character. Um, you can do a dash run. You can tap the joystick twice in either direction and you'll run that way. And as you run, you can do... You can uh, press the attack button and you'll do this uh, thrust punch. I right, got another uh, crystal. Yeah, sometimes the enemies will drop a, a small food item and it'll give you a tiny bit of energy back. Note that unlike a lot of other beat-em-up games, this does not have uh, crates or barrels or stacks of tires or whatever that you can destroy and get uh, weapons or something out of. This game really could have used that. Other than that, I, re I really love the graphics. I think they're fantastic. And they really capture the feel of the anime series. Yeah, I remember watching some Sailor Moon when it was popular in the U.S. I was, uh... I was working as a janitor for a department store at the time, and I would, uh... I would be able to catch a little bit of Sailor Moon in the morning because I worked a graveyard shift. <laughs> I didn't care if it, if people thought I was stupid. <laughs> I kind of liked it. But, um... Yeah, at the end of each level there will be a boss. And there's... These uh, doll characters can, can unscrew their heads and throw them at you. Or these uh, mannequin characters. Oh crap, I'm, I'm already almost out of time. Sometimes they give you plenty of time, and sometimes they do not. If you run out of time, you die. Oh crap. Come on, just die, alright? Oh my god. And, uh, I didn't get much time here either. That's just, it's just not fair. And there, this, uh, ninja gal will throw, uh will throw darts at me from behind, or she might try to sneak up and slash me with her sword. Uh, yeah, they just don't give me enough time here. You have to have a magic attack to use to dispatch the enemies quicker. <laughs> uh, Sailor Moon is this character is kind of a crybaby. She's... she's generally a very weak uh, leader of the other gals but uh, throughout the series and the and the manga she develops uh, she uh, develops a stronger personality and she gets tougher and smarter and less, uh, maybe a little bit less of a crybaby we'll look at all the characters and all the all the moves that they can do but the characters really needed more moves, I think, than what they had in this game. And here is the second boss, and she's like, 
trying to choke out a, a girl. And that girl shows up in the manga and the anime too, I forget her name. And even while you're fighting a boss, there will be plenty of uh, henchmen coming by to make life more difficult. Sometimes against a boss, if you last long enough against them, then another character will appear. Here's the second... <laughs> what? <laughs> and there, that is the second uh, magic attack. And like I was saying, uh, sometimes this character will appear in his tuxedo mask. And he, throw, he will throw a rose at the boss and it will hurt them. And if you pick up the rose, you'll refill all of your life. So make sure to do that. Get away, let me pick up that rose. There we go. Yeah, this is definitely worth checking out. I mean, especially if you're a fan of Sailor Moon. This is just very well done. Very, uh, very beautiful. But yeah, it needed, uh, it needed crates or, uh, breakable objects so that you could get, uh, items from them. Health items or weapons or whatever. This game doesn't have that, and it's kind of a staple of beat-em-ups, so that's kind of disappointing. Well, that's the end of round two. The girl's okay, she sits up. And now we have a little cutscene where, uh, the gal with the clawed hands just just off screen is known as Queen Beryl. She is the last boss of the game, and there's one of her henchmen. She's looking at uh, Sailor Moon and the Crystal Ball. You can speed this little part up by pressing the action button. <clears throat> now we go to round three. Note that uh, after you beat a boss, <laughs> there's... There's a special attack when you hold a punch, uh, attack and jump. You'll do a special attack, and it drains a little tiny bit of your life bar, which was common with a lot of beat-em-ups. But you can have up to five crystals to do a special attack with, and of course that'll be the strongest. If you have a, a five crystal special attack. You can beat pretty much any boss with it, with just one attack. And there is her dash attack. You double tap left or right and press attack while she's running and you'll do this uh, dashing punch. <laughs> the voice samples, or the voice uh, acting in this game is terrific. And I believe it's all done by the, uh, the, uh, actors or actresses of the, uh, anime series. Oops. Crap. Oh, I'm not dead yet. Let's do a special attack. I think all those, uh, animated, uh, scenes of her special attacks were in the, uh, anime Oops, dead. <laughs> and then they cry something as uh, they're waiting for you to spin to continue. But I'm not gonna write here, but we will look at the rest of the, uh, the rest of the game, or snippets of the rest of the levels. Oops, I'll put in my initials. There's a lot of, uh, symbols in the, uh, uh, letter selection screen there, so you might have to skip through a lot of, uh, letters by holding down, up or down, and then it'll skip through the letters faster. And there I got first place. You don't get an extra life, as, as far as I can tell. Yeah, this is kind of stupid. I won the popularity contest or whatever, but there's no no voice here, like I think there should be. You know, Sailor Moon gloating about how great she is, or Sailor Mars being pissed off or something. And here is her third, uh, <laughs> her third uh, special attack. And she, like, 
runs into place <laughs> so that she can do the attack. It's kind of funny. And here's her fourth attack. It's kind of stupid. Just about all the attacks look the same with the result. And they just wound all enemies on the screen or, or kill them outright if they're weak. And here's the fifth attack. <laughs> I put on cheats to uh, give myself uh, not only, I think, yeah, not only uh, infinite, uh, uh, maybe it was just infinite uh, uh, magic for a certain, or you could uh, choose what attack level of your uh, special attack it would be. And now we're going to look at Sailor Jupiter, and her real name is Makoto Kino. She's very tall. Very athletic. Uh, very into martial arts. Yeah, there was her uh, special attack. The special attack won't drain from your life bar if it doesn't connect with an enemy. And if you jump towards an enemy and press down an attack, she does a, uh, a knee. And now here's her uh, first special attack. It's a... Yeah, they, all the attacks end up looking the same. They just they just cause the enemies to fall down. It's kind of kind of lame in my opinion. And there's her dash attack. It's just a short elbow, so it doesn't have a lot of range. I love that! That is cool! Even though she doesn't actually throw it, which would have been more cool. She just lifts a ginormous boulder. She's like the strongest of the whole group. Man! Look at that crowd! And here's her uh, third magic deck. What? <laughs> okay, I don't know what happened. But yeah, I have it. I used a cheat that allows you to pick what what uh, uh, something happened. <laughs> you got to pick what uh, uh, strength of uh, magic attack you want to have. But yeah, if you dash and jump forward and push down an attack, she will do this dive attack. It's kind of cool looking. Yeah, you gotta watch out for those uh, kabuki guys that have the claws. They're annoying. And here's her full special attack. I remember that from the uh, anime. She has uh, electrical bolts uh, hit the enemy. But yeah, if you can save uh, one of your stronger magic attacks for a boss, you can you can lay waste to them very quickly. And here's the third stage boss. Oops, she died. <laughs> and this boss flies around and has a bunch of bats. I I definitely uh, never seen this in the U.S. It probably got very very limited release in the U.S. Or maybe it was just Europe. I don't know for sure. Yeah, let's use another uh, special attack on them. This should uh, this should kill them. Oh, no, that's right. This boss will fly off partway through, and then you have to face them again at the top of this tower. <laughs> what? How the hell did she get there? <laughs> Silly. She looks like a... I've always thought that Sailor Jupiter looked like a uh, Denny's waitress. <laughs> 
And this time, let's select Sailor Mercury. And her real name is Ami Mizuno. There are a lot of changes from uh, the original Japanese animated series of Sailor Moon to uh, to uh, um, the U.S. version. That is, they decided to censor a bunch of things. It was usually for no good reason at all. Yeah, Sailor Mercury's pretty weak. We'll look at her magics, though. She's like the, uh, the brainy, uh, the brainy one of the, uh, of the Sailor Girls. But she can, she can grab and throw enemies just like everybody else. Whoops. Screw it. Let's use her uh, second attack. Yeah, she has like the power of water or the power of bubbles or something. But we'll look at the attacks, just the basic punches and kicks and whatnot and special attacks and magic attacks and stuff from each character. Now I go to round four. Just terrific detail, not just on the characters, but the settings. Just lovely, lovely graphics for this game. Now we'll use her third magic. <laughs> what the hell? Her dress spins around like a helicopter. <laughs> it's weird. And now here's her fourth magic. Uh, I'm not sure what she did, but... I... I... They're all speaking uh, Japanese, of course. I don't, I don't understand Japanese all that well. I've studied it. I'm still not very good at it. And here's her strongest attack, strongest magic attack. And there, I got a little energy back. Oops. I get bumped up to the next section without having time to grab that crystal. And there's, here's her dead and me having to continue. And this time I will choose Sailor Venus. Oops, <laughs> ouch. She's got really long legs, super long blonde hair. I think she was like a model or, or an actress or something. <laughs> and that was her uh, that's her uh, attack when you do a uh, running jump and press down an attack she, she acts as sort of a almost like a Kami's or, or no uh, 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 doll scenes uh Diving drill attack, or whatever you want to call it, from Street Fighter 2. Kind of similar. The uh, in the default high score list, and we're going to look at more of her magics. In the default high score list, the uh, voice actresses of uh, the Sailor Moon characters are in the uh, <laughs> trapdoor are in the uh, high score list, or at least the first three initials of their names. She's very athletic. She does a little flip kick as uh, part of her combo. Yeah, it's, it really sucks that sometimes you get plenty of time Oops. Sometimes you get plenty of time to, to beat the enemies and then move on, and sometimes you get almost no time. Really sucks. But this is worth playing just for the, the graphics alone, which are lovely. <laughs> I 
And here's her uh, strongest magic attack. Crescent Beam. Crescent Beam. Or Crescento Beam. <laughs> and we're almost to the boss here. And here is where you can get an interruption from Tuxedo Mask throwing the rose at the enemy. And again, collect that rose to uh, refill your energy all the way. Ow! Yeah, their attacks can really freaking hurt. <laughs> He's just sitting in a chair in the classroom. Computer class. Better pick up that freaking rose. Ah, shit. <laughs> And now I'm going to choose, uh, Sailor Mars. And Sailor Mars's name is, uh, Ray Hino. Sailor Venus was Minako Aino. And here is her, uh, Sailor Mars's first magic attack. Sailor Mars, uh, her... She uh, lives in a temple and takes care of it. She has two. Uh, she has two uh, crows that are named uh, Phobo, Phobos and Deimos, or something. And there they were in her uh, special magic attack. And uh, Phobos and Deimos are moons of Mars, the planet. And now we go to uh, the docks for for this stage, and we actually face human enemies here. I'm just gonna yeah skip through later parts of each level, and uh, I just want to show you the special attack that drains en energy, some of the smaller attacks. Now I used the, the same attack again. Um, I'll show you their uh, magic crystal attacks, uh, their running attacks, run dash attack, uh, running and jumping and pressing down an attack move. <laughs> Here's her uh, third magic attack. I like this one. She has these, uh, magic scriptures or whatever uh, in her mouth she takes them out <laughs> but yeah if you can manage to save up your magic attack for a boss uh, you know collect a bunch of crystals you can end that fight pretty quickly That was her uh, energy draining special attack, and here's her full strongest magic attack. We're gonna. I I didn't uh, show you. I think it was the fourth, the fourth uh, uh, magic attack. So I'm just gonna show you that real quick here. That one is pretty cool. I like that. Now we'll scoot back to where I was uh, before. <laughs> you see them in pain. Little uh, window at the top left by their score. Yeah, I put on invincibility, I think, by this point. I just wanted to scoot through uh, to the rest of the game. I've already shown you all the characters' uh, special moves and stuff. And it's definitely worth uh, looking up through an emulator. I don't know what kind of luck you're going to find uh, uh, have finding it out in the wild at an arcade. <laughs> and now here is uh, the boss of level 5, or stage 5, and they're known as 
Zoysite. Some, uh... They, they can uh, teleport across the screen and shoot beams at ya. It seems, it seems like they should have uh, finished the attack. I mean, I think that they showed like fire come out of her fingers in the anime, and they didn't, uh, they didn't finish out the attack in the arcade uh, version. Now we're at round six. This round is is pretty short, I think, uh, compared to the other ones. You have to go through this forest setting. And then you go in here, and shortly afterwards you gotta face a boss. And then that's the end of that round. Yeah. Twin Kylian, or whatever it said. Yeah, this is a boss from earlier, and we gotta face two of them. Yeah, the enemies get to be really good at, uh, surrounding you in this game. Well, scoot forward to me beating him with the, uh, full magic attack. Uh, that was, uh, round six. Now we go to round seven. Now in this stage, what's that, Zoe Sight? Changes, uh, this little girl's cat into a monster, and you have to face it multiple times. Why does it make that sound? Is it Robocop or something? The hell? <laughs> oh, it's smashing an, an arcade machine. Yeah, screw you, I've got invincibility on. But once you deliver enough, enough punishment to it, then it'll run off and you will have to face it again a little bit later. Let's go forward to that happening. You'll face it at like a, a supermarket or something later on. And here's a little bit later, yeah, you'll face it again. That's really stupid. It sounds like it's a giant robot or a mech or something. <laughs> Even a giant cat shouldn't make that kind of noise. Yeah, you can play two-player simultaneous play on this game, but no more than that. The cabinet isn't built for uh, three players or more. And now we face him one last time. Once you beat him, he shrinks back down to the kitty that the little girl had. And runs back to his owner. But you still have to beat these uh, underlings here. Them, uh, the fight right around that little girl should have hurt the little girl. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I tried to punch the little girl. Oh well. <laughs> well. That's the end of that round. And now we move on to the final stage, or the final round, where we will face Queen Beryl. And we are in a very icy territory here. We'll just scoot forward to uh, the later parts of this stage. We will face a mini-boss partway through this. Note that guy with the green hair kind of running in, a, in place. You have to get around the base of that uh, ice pillar, or else you'll be just kind of running into a... You, know, you won't be able to uh, move forward. See, those guys are getting stuck there, too. Yeah, you face Zoysight and this other character. I forget what his name is. In the, uh, in the anime, 
they're just, uh, there's nothing between these guys, but I, I guess in, uh, in the original Japanese anime, not the U.S. one, I guess they're gay lovers or something. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of things that were uh, changed in the American version of uh, the Sailor Moon anime. scoot forward to uh, just before uh, having to face Queen Beryl. And Queen Beryl's pretty annoying. She teleports all over the place. And uh, she doesn't stick around very long. She doesn't really give you an opportunity to attack her much. And she bops you with her uh, staff. Or her uh, mace or whatever that is. Scepter. Yeah, you can't really do regular punches on her. You have to do, like, the special attack that drains a little energy. Or you can do a jump kick if you time it right. <laughs> and, uh, of course, you can do your uh, magic attacks. Even against Queen Barrel, the full... full strength uh, magic attack it's very damaging, and she's dead. Now I gotta put in my initials. Yeah, hold up or down on the joystick to skip through the letters or symbols faster. Well, that was Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon, also known as Bishoujo Senshi Sailor Moon. And now we're gonna look at the credits. Yeah, I'd never seen uh, the arcade version. Uh, like I said, it might it might have just been in Europe. I don't know for sure. But this was suggested by YouTube user Nathan Williams. And again, Sailor Moon was a very, very, very worldwide popular uh, franchise. Multiple uh, uh, anime series, anime movies, uh, manga, uh, games... Uh, there was a very good uh, Super Nintendo RPG of Sailor Moon. Uh, if you if you if you ever uh, if you have a, a Super Nintendo and uh, can get imports, or if you have a Super Nintendo emulator, uh, check out the Sailor Moon game. The RPG, uh, pretty pretty darn cool. And there are the character voices, and like I said, the first three letters of their names, I believe, show up in the uh, uh, high score list. Yeah, the uh, original creator of Sailor Moon, Naoko Takeuchi was like a supervisor on this game. But that was Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon created by uh, Gazelle and licensed to Van Presto in 1995. And this is based on the uh, anime series that was around the mid-90s. And again, I remember watching that anime series back in the day. I like this, and I liked uh, the Dragon Ball uh, series, and Dragon Ball Z. I used to watch that. I was in my somewhere in my uh, early to mid twenties, and uh, again, it kind of sucks that uh, we don't hear the voices during the uh, character contest here after you beat the game. Wanted to hear Sailor Moon, Moon gloat about how she was uh, used the most. Her character was used the most. Oh well. Well that was Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon. Created by Gazelle and licensed to Ban Presto in 1995. Well this is Crazy Clown Ready saying thanks for watching Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon. Created by Gazelle and licensed to Ban Presto in 1995. Hope you have a good week, everybody. And uh, I will see you later with another video.
Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.